Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram because we have a lot of fun there. Okay guys, so as you see, there is a seat empty right by me because we have a special guest and this is no other than amazing, one and only, the king of my heart and I also hope he will steal your heart as well. Ray Ray, my boyfriend, please welcome. Oh, Chantel, what a lovely little introduction. I tried. That's I, I, great. I really, really tried. It went straight to my head. Okay, guys. So, my lovely boyfriend is back at it. He will be filming with me today, and we're going to answer all your questions and we gathered over a hundred questions yeah. so it was very very tough to go through them and we will just try to yeah. go through them as fast as we can right yeah yeah let's do it we're just gonna fly through yeah. them i'm super excited to answer all the questions i'm excited you know what having having barely survived the now infamous olympia gate uh, and now having to bear ourselves completely to answering all these questions. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? But, but, but you know what they say, love. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But we're still here and we're still together, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, before we start answering all the yes. spicy questions, I wanna tell you a few things about the giveaway because we promised you a yeah. giveaway as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers. And from my heart, I wanted to give to you something that is Polish. So Polish yeah. based brand, but uh, something that would still uh, smell amazing and give you guys yeah. a lovely pamper. So Ray Ray will introduce you to Perfect. all the products. So as African custom dictates, I did not come empty-handed. No, I bought a couple didn't. of gifts. Yeah. Right? And for one lucky viewer. So let's see what we got. We've got a beautiful, lovely peeling coffee scrub. Yeah, so this is an all-natural vegan uh, coffee scrub. It's coffee and tangerine flavor. Flavor? Is it a flavor? It's a scent, right? Scent, yeah. Okay, but you kind of can eat it too because it's coffee. Never mind. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So this is a scrub. And then we've got the peach and caramel body cream. I love it. Use it every day. Yeah. And then we've got, what's this, a hand cream? Yes. It's yeah. A hand cream. And that's origin vanilla. Lovely flavor. Amazing. Scent. Super nourishing. And then last but certainly not least. This is my favorite. You've got the body, the body yogurt. Yeah. So all the products are from the brand called Fluff. Like, how cute is that? And uh, these are, as I said, all natural, vegan. They have amazing ingredients. They nourish your body and they smell so bomb. Um, this one, every time I use it, he screams from the other room, what smells so good? Yeah. So these are amazing. Um, all the guidelines how to win those products will be uh, explained by me by the end of this video. So stay tuned and let's get into the questions. Let's, let's get straight into it. Okay, first question. Uh, where in South Africa are you moving to? So for the time being, we are going to be based in my hometown of Port Elizabeth, which is on the eastern coast of South Africa. So PE, your boy is coming home. <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay, Shilvia is asking, what's the plans in South Africa? Uh, so the plans in South Africa is to, you know, have a couple of meetings, see what is going to happen with regards to my career, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, and basically, uh, for now, South Africa will be our, it will be our base. hometown, our base. Yeah. yeah, and for me, it will be mostly a time where I can focus on my YouTube career and also finish my PhD in law. Lovely. Okay, Krystia Gosińska is asking, how many languages can you speak? Do you have favorite country? Shall right. I start? You go for it. Okay, so obviously I speak Polish because I'm Polish. I speak English, obvi. Um, I also speak um, German and Spanish and I learn Italian. And my favorite country would be Greece or Italy, actually. Or Morocco. Spanish. Wow, okay. Or Canary Islands. Like Spain in general. Right. I love Europe in most parts. What a flex. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, contrary to popular belief, um, I am not as lingual, linguistically talented as my darling Paulina. I only speak English and Afrikaans fluently. But because of Afrikaans, I can speak a bit of Dutch and I'm learning Polish. All right. Audrey is asking, who throws tantrums more? Okay. <laughs> Wandia, what countries that you've traveled to together or solo do you love the most? So I already said I, I love Italy. I love Greece. Yeah. For me, I'm going to have to say Italy, specifically Rome. Uh, I was there last year for the first time. And it was absolutely magical. It was beautiful. It absolutely stole my heart. Such a charming city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you consider starting another channel with your boyfriend that focuses more on relationships, etc.? Froma Biwi Flove is asking. Um, sorry if I mispronounce your Instagram handles. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I think. It would be actually very fun and cool to have it um, just because this channel is more beauty related, perfume related and I've always wanted to have a platform, this or another, uh, where I can focus more on your sp spiritual health, spiritual journey, relationships, anything like that. Because um, yeah, and having that with my partner would be absolutely fantastic. That would so be great. I'm keen. Let's do it. We'll see about that. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see if you're allowed because of your job. Yeah. Okay. What nationality is your boyfriend? <laughs> yes, we got this one a lot, especially in the last video that we did. Um, I am South African. All right. Um, Hal Tayas is asking, how did you meet and how long have you been together? So you already know my side of the story, yes. uh, which I answered in my very first Q&A video, which I will link right here. Uh, we've been together for one and a half year. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah, can I tell you my side quickly though? Yeah. All right, cool. So I remember, I remember actually to the point what we were discussing before she walked in. Uh, it was after a conference and a couple of colleagues and I went out to the bar and we were chatting about, you know, the controversies surrounding the INF treaty, riveting stuff. And uh, I just got up and decided, you know what, I need to, you know, hit the loo. And um, as I was on my way there, I bumped into this complete vision of a person and she was with someone. But uh, a wise person once told me that you miss 100% of the shot you don't take. So I introduced myself and I said, hi, you look like my next girlfriend. The rest is history. Yeah. Okay. How as a couple uh, do you cover and manage the expenses when traveling together? Who pays for what and why? Um, so uh, if I may answer that, um, usually when we travel, uh, my partner uh, covers the travel expenses and hotels, etc. And when we are at the spot, we usually go half and half and stuff like that but he he's a very much of a gentleman so he loves inviting me to restaurants and events and stuff so but in the end we we are 50 50 yeah yeah in life yeah yeah uh power Chovs is asking uh what do you guys do for a living and how do you define success so uh from my side as you guys probably already know i am a lawyer i finished uh, law school in poland and i am in the finishing line of my phd it's right studies there. it's right there. right there um so yeah it, and i do my phd in international law and uh, also i recently quit the horrendous corporate environment and started youtube fantastic um, for me, I am in the diplomatic field. That's all you can say, probably. <laughs> I, <laughs> and I, I moved up to Warsaw in the latter part of 2018, where I completed my diplomatic training and I worked uh, in a international organization where I worked alongside foreign diplomats on matters of democracy and human rights. All right. And how do we define success? Simply 
One word, happiness. And for me, wealth. <laughs> All right, let's move on. A little lady asks, uh, do you wear perfumes every day? I do, yes. Me too. All right, moving yeah, on. You gotta smell good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't, you don't want to smell. Okay. Too. Next question is is by uh, Kat Zolova. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Do you want children? Uh, I don't know in five years if we'll have kids, uh, but definitely more settled. Uh, who knows? Maybe hitched by then. Who knows? Depends on the ring. <laughs> so yeah, in a nutshell, I would say way more settled. All right. Uh, Fiza Husa 1N is asking, what's the secret to a long-lasting relationship? May oh, I answer? Go for it. First, because I yeah. know you surely want to put your two cents to it. I would love to put my two cents in. All right, so uh, from my side, a uh, secret to a long-lasting relationship is um, accepting each other's flaws and also acknowledging that both people are here to have a spiritual journey and we both need to grow and uh, we met each other to help each other grow so the acceptance of the mutual growth and um, getting to know each other and ourselves as well via the relationship uh, is actually the secret to it and also of course, mutual respect. That's beautiful. My <laughs> advice will be, uh, especially for the gentlemen out there, I'm going to give you some tried and tested uh, advice, something that has really served me well with my dear Pauli over here. Uh, gentlemen, always make sure you get the last word in. And by the last word, I mean, yes, dear. Great, let's move on. <laughs> Um, Ollie's mum, hello, is asking, what's your life plan in South Africa? Can you practice law? So this is more of a Go question to me. Um, uh, I cannot practice law per se as an attorney, judge or whatever I would prefer. Um, unless I uh, get my diploma accepted once again and do the training in the particular law of a country. Um, so yeah, at the moment I cannot do that, but I'll most probably um, get some little uh, lecturing hours at the university. Since I do my PhD, it will be helpful for me and I love doing lectures for students. So that's what I'll probably do. Yeah, interesting. Okay, who cooks better? Yeah. The question uh, should be who cooks? <laughs> <laughs> um, hands down. You're a, you're a whiz in the kitchen. Though. All right. And I hate doing that. <laughs> okay. Moon Perfumes. Hello, Moon. Hi, Moon. Uh, is asking, what's your top fragrances brand and why? This is a question to you. Top fragrance brands for men, um, I would have to say Dior, uh, Tom Ford, and I'm going to go for Versace. Versace? Yes. All right, all right. Uh, are there any scents that you hate on him but uh, he loves? Yeah, there is one. That's his all-time favorite. I don't like it on you. Are you saying that because of Olympia? I thought we got past that. No, <laughs> no, I'm serious, I really don't like it. The scent I love on him though is Versace Eros. Like, I could eat him. But this, no. Okay, I, I, I get the, I get the illusion. <laughs> All right, um, what do we have here? Uh, when you fight, how do you make up? <laughs> let, let, let's move on. <laughs> uh, Paulina, what is your most favorite perfumes for men and his favorite too? So for me, uh, I absolutely love Versace Eros. I love it. Um, I also absolutely love Tom Ford Wood Wood and uh, Accent Fabulous. I love those three. I also adore, adore Diorum. That's lovely. Uh, my, the top, the epitome of male fragrances. Gentlemen, you do yourself a favor, you do the world a favor if uh, you get this one. Dior Fahrenheit. Lovely one. And then I'm going to go for Tom Ford, effing fabulous, because I am effing fabulous. And then I am... <laughs> what, 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 what's that? I don't know. It, it just came to me. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Another question. Let's skip that dryness here. 
Uh, Dragon Wing is, is asking, can you do a video of travel to South Africa and how it's like living there? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. We're already planning that. Of course, and uh, I'll be happy to show that we do not drive or ride our elephants to work. Uh, we don't have... But we can't. I mean, you could. I mean, yeah, I could ask my uncle to saddle up the old Delhi and uh, we can hop on. All right. Next question. Uh, why are you moving to South Africa? Why is your dad upset about it? This is a question to me. Woo! Yeah. It's gotten spicy, eh? Let's get into um, it. Okay, so the reason why I'm moving to South Africa is straight up for him. I want to be close to him. Uh, he did a huge sacrifice for me last year already. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, but it was a big, big sacrifice. And, but it worked out. But it worked out, and now I'm literally returning to favor. Uh, I'm moving where he is, and uh, why my father's not very happy about that? Uh, well, I don't really have a relationship with my father, so to speak, uh, and if there is any, it's not a great one. Um, and he is a very particular person. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, do you lovely. have Do you have any comment on that? Oh, no, he's lovely. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Is asking, um, what did you both find the best and also the most difficult or interesting about being in a relationship with a person from a different culture? Mm. And Ray, please explain what do you like about compot sushi? <laughs> <laughs> I love this question. <laughs> um, can I go for it? Of course. Uh, let's start off with compot. I'm gonna have my beauty water. Yeah, so I love weird and wonderful tastes. And compot is not your average tasting beverage. And um, honestly, Christmas time, I knock those back because I really like them. And what was the first part of the question? Uh, what was the best and the most difficult uh, part of being with someone from another culture? Yeah, so I've always grown up in a multicultural environment. I went to a school that had like people from everywhere. So I've, I've always been used to um, having people who are not from my culture or from my country around me. So I would say not, not much really. I'm, I'm always open and happy to uh, meet new people but the key thing is is to remain open-minded and have yeah. respect yeah and uh, especially uh, respecting other people's culture which uh, I'll be totally honest uh, it was quite difficult for me uh, especially being from central eastern Europe we drink a lot like a lot a lot a lot <laughs> and uh, in Ray's uh, household they do not really um, drink a lot of alcohol um, it's not really like a religious thing, it's more of a, like, they just don't drink. Yeah, we, we're not a big drinking family. Yeah, and uh, it was very difficult for me to adjust because for me, any family meeting, any party, that would be a lot of drinking, and for them it's not. So I really had to, first I was super frustrated, but now I don't drink either, so, so I, I guess it will be easier. <laughs> All right, um, next question. Um... How did you guys meet? We already answered yeah, that. We're not gonna one. go through it again. Uh, what have you learned uh, from your relationship about yourselves or together as a whole? Michelle Davies asking. Hmm. I've learned that we are very similar, even though we thought we are completely different. And especially, I was very conscious about the fact that I am very nervous. I'm a nervous person at the moment because I'm struggling with anxiety and you know it. I kind of like explode sometimes. And uh, I was very conscious about that and I didn't want to do that. But then I realized that when you're nervous, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> but so, yeah, I would say what I've realized is I am a lot tougher than I thought I am. Uh, both of us, we, this is a very yeah. challenging time yeah. um, with the global pandemic. And it's it's a it's a very tough time, and especially um, mentally, uh, we're all tougher than we think we are. And I hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, me too. Marcella Largo is asking. 
uh, what would be your dream wedding? Beach, traditional, Vegas, Paris. Congrats on 10K. Thank you. <laughs> your uh, dream wedding, be quick. My dream wedding would be whatever as long as I get to say I do to you. Mm, what, what was that talking about? That was a great answer. I was proud of myself. Okay, my dream really wedding. Strong. I'm going to be quick. A gorgeous winery in Cape Town. Thank you. Uh, what are your zodiac signs? So I'm an Aquarius. I'm a Libra. And we're great for each other. What are your professions? I'm a lawyer. Dipl I'm in, diplomatic field. I'm in the diplomatic field. Yeah, yes. that's, that's all we can say. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, next question. Uh, if you have an ability to change one thing in each other, what would it be? You, you can go first. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, you are absolutely amazing. I will not change a thing about you. And that's the God honest truth. Really? Yeah. Never changed my life. What about me being stressed all the time? That's fine. That's just you exhibiting your emotions and okay. how you feel. The only th he, he is literally the most perfect man I've ever met. Like, congratulations to you, Muna. I love your son, and you made the perfect baby. He's the perfect man. He really is. The only thing I would uh, maybe change is he is so messy. Like, ugh, I can't. He leaves stuff everywhere. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> My mom's like, yes, daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> Okay. Michelle Young, question: What is your boyfriend's obsession, addiction, love um, for? For since yours is fragrance. We'll say it together: one, two, three. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Katarina Nicole, hello, Katarina. Uh, she has a very long message. So, my question is: um, Do you? Uh, will uh, will you do a house tour? Yes, we will. And one of the landscapes around you, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, what do you both want in your next journey uh, in uh, South Africa? Work, relationship? And do you already having friends in South Africa? Yes, uh, I kind of do already have some friends. Like from, you from friends. your side. You have a lot of friends in, in PE. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm, I met most of them, so it should be fine. Okay. Uh, Sarah, one of my favorite questions. What is your love language? Go quick. My love language would have to be words of affirmation. Mine is gifts. Yeah. Have you ever had doubts uh, about the relationship? Um, no, nah, nothing for me. I No, it wasn't much of a doubt. It was more of a tough situation that we've been in that made me doubt everything. That's it. Okay. Maud Tosson is asking, what makes you two laugh the most? Me. Yeah. I'm literally. Literally, guys. He is the funniest person. <laughs> From the way he walks, talks, everything. Yes. Okay. Um, it's next. tough being the clown, but someone's got to do it. Yeah, but the crazy thing is that, that you can be a clown at home and when you work, you are like the toughest, most serious <laughs> person in the world. He does a lot of public um, speeches, uh, like international public speeches. And when he talks, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, Eugenia is asking, um, are you planning to get a job in South Africa? Uh, not a job per se, as I said, maybe just to be at the university to give lectures for my PhD, you know, to just click it together. Uh, okay, is it difficult to find a job as a lawyer? Yes, everywhere. No matter where you go, um, whatever country it is, it is difficult if you want to be nicely paid. Uh, has your PhD in an international level helped you somehow in this? Um, I don't think so. Hmm. I really don't think so. The, the last uh, workplace that I was hired in, the corporate, uh, actually I was really put down because I was more educated than most managers. So yeah. 
damn toxic toxic <laughs> yeah toxic corporate okay culture. akanksha hello girl hello. all right uh do you it's for you yes uh do you enjoy going on the perfumes discovery drives or not really i absolutely love them i am the designated cameraman uh it's exciting it's really he hates fun it. it's he hates great. It. you can already tell guys yeah, so, but it's fine lie to us lie to us yeah. <laughs> all right magdalena uh what ray likes the most from polish food and traditions Ooh, yes polish food uh kaczka and kluski with a bit of kapuski which is <laughs> <laughs> which is kluski which is which is kluski how would you describe like kluski? um like uh, those little balls potato balls. like potato yeah. balls with duck and some kaczka sauerkraut is duck, yes. and yeah Uh, sauerkraut kapuski is cabbage. cabbage sour cabbage yes yeah and then of course pierogi yeah dumplings uh, my favorite tradition of uh the polish people would have to be their weddings my goodness do you the best guys weddings know ever. how to party and eat yeah uh and from my side um my favorite food is definitely your mom's biryani hands down a hands good down That's a good one. and uh when it comes to tradition is that you are so close to family mm-hmm. like family is everything is about the family because yes. in europe it's not like that yes Ubuntu. for me at least yes yeah uh was it love from the first sight listen for me it was i'm not going to lie for me not really uh, who's like who's, But this, who's I, this cocky guy Yeah, I, I, it was more of like I was uh, hurt so many times that you know yeah. I I didn't even look at him, you know. I don't think it makes sense. She looked at me. I saw a little side eye. She gave me and was like, "Hey." Okay, uh, Shatana. Uh, what is one thing you love and one thing you hate about each other? Uh, we already yeah. said that, but uh, we didn't say what we love the most. Um I would have to say your really really big heart that you have not uh-huh. just for me but for everyone out there you have a heart of gold Thank you Bo Uh I think it would be same Yeah you have the biggest heart ever <laughs> and uh this is the most important thing about him is that he doesn't have any sign of toxic masculinity and he's very empathetic amazing amazing Uh Elad, uh you're in the law field, did your partner find it intimidating? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I'm just going to say straight away, trust me, trust me. My field of work is nothing uh when it comes to being intimidating comparing to his field of work. No. Let's just let, let, let's just say that she's into international law, I'm into diplomacy. It's basically the same thing. Kind of. It is basically kind of. Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, so uh that will be the end of part 1. We're gonna soon post part 2 and uh that's where I'm gonna tell you all about the giveaway. So stay tuned yes. for that. Love you guys and I hope to see you in our next video. You get two in one. Yay. All right. So see you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.